What's up? So you're a noob to Daisy Rear US3, huh? You want to build a base, huh? Well, you're in the right place, man. It's Private J Rob here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a base. This video is for you, especially if you're a noob. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. What's up guys? So today, since we have a couple extra code locks, we got nails. I'm going to show you how to build a base. That's right. That's right. Only thing we're missing is the base building book, but I used my base building book here at this space make the kits and only thing you need with the base building book you combine that with some planks and that'll make your workbench you attach the base building book to the workbench you put the nails and the planks in your backpack and then you press F on the workbench and you'll get an option to create all sorts of kits and so today I created wall a floor a wall a wall a roof and a garage door so with that, you can make a box. People call it an airlock. And this is what you can make with that. So you put a code lock on it and you're good to go. You need of course a hatchet to chop down trees and make logs. And you'll use the saw to saw those logs into planks. And uh now you can find all this stuff in the map, but you can also buy all this stuff at the safe zone. Uh, except for the nails. Yeah, nails are find only, and you're going to find those in sheds, mainly. You can find them on zombies. You can find them in key rooms. Um, and those are about the only places you can find them. They won't be in houses. They won't be really at militaries or anything like that. Or you can find them on dead players. You kill them. You can also buy them from players at the safe zone. That's correct. And uh, we're going to use this rope. You combine rope with sticks. Uh, we need the sticks. But you combine rope with like four sticks. And you can make the HQ. Now you need the HQ. Uh, it's pretty much your flagpole. And then uh, so you combine the ropes with the sticks. You'll get an, a box that has an HQ kit in it. You set that down. <clears throat> you claim that HQ. And you put a couple nails on it to keep your base from decaying. If you don't put the nails on your HQ, your base will decay within 24 hours. So don't forget that. Um, but yeah, so right now, Everclove and I have about the same identical backpack. And we're just going to go build a base and uh yeah show you how it's done see uh i was thinking we should have done like the nails we should show us picking up the nails and the rope just because it's a little bit more interesting for them to see oh that's where they got them yeah everclip literally found nails and a rope right before we went out and sheds, just... Well, where'd you find those things? Just regular old sheds right outside of the houses. Yeah, sheds. We want to check every shed, pretty much. And if there's nothing in the sheds, Everclove has taught me to... Make a... Make, like, a cycle. Like, you loot those sheds, then you go to like a different little town, loot those sheds, and circle and back. back. Loot the same sheds that you did 20 minutes ago, because something may not have been there then, but it spawned in. So it's there now. If you ever see something like disappear in front of your eyes, then you know to go back and do your same circle, because it means that loot has switched out, you know? 
That's how I knew, how I learned. I was like, oh, something disappeared. I'm gonna go back, and then I'd see that the nails were there. Whatever I was looking for was in something I had just checked. Another thing I do, if you watch my wipe day videos, it's like when I'm first spawn on wipe day, I have nothing. I always make it my main focus to build a base. So, if you're wondering like how to how to build a base, those are my wipe day videos are good videos to watch as well, as it shows me start on the coast with nothing. I usually get some materials like a hatchet or saw. <clears throat> and then uh, some nails and I'll s make I'll make a stash which means you put everything in your backpack and you put it in a tree and usually a group of trees is the best spot to put it in the middle of nowhere you put a marker on it and that way if you die while looting or trying to make money at least your backpack with your hatchet and your saw and your nails is still there, most likely. People think you have to make a buried stash, but you really don't even need to do that. You just need to put your stuff in a backpack and put it in a tree. Show them. Who, who checks trees? Other than Everclaw. <laughs> I have a problem looking at trees. Like even just this simple tree, like, right here, it's not the best tree, but you set your backpack right here. Well, that's definitely not a good, <laughs> a big ass backpack, but I'm facing the tree is best. You just set it like that. It's somebody walking by, you know, they're not going to notice. Well, like these trees over here look good. Look at this. I mean, I guess it's not the best, but nobody is. People are likely not, uh. Come run by this. See, you can hardly see it. Your backpack's in here? Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Good. You put a marker on that bad boy. And then you go, uh. Loot up a military. Or Loot some towns, try to find enough so you can afford a code lock. Oh, there's a base right here. It's the oh. Hummer. It's a dead body out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn. Helm's a good spot because this is a little hunting village right here. I like mm -hmm. to go in the loot <clears throat> on wipe day and uh, when I don't have anything. It's a good place to find Mosins and Blazes. Hunting backpacks. It's also where you're going to find your sleeping bags. You look for markers, like this little leaf. Was it like little feathers, two brown feathers? Mm -hmm. and the brown words, those are always hunting villages. And those are the places that are going to have the uh, sleeping bags. Which, a sleeping bag, if you don't know, is so you can respawn on the sleeping bag if you die. So you, I usually get a sleeping bag, put it in the tree, Close to my backpack, my little stash bag, and uh, I respawn there until I get a base. Then I put it inside the base, of course. Another thing is you can hide backpacks in deep water. Not water like this, but if water's deep, like a lake. Drop my backpack in the in the lake, set a marker on it. I've done that so many times. But yeah, rope and sticks make the HQ. I'll just combine those. And then hatchets and saws are really easy to find in sheds. Code lock costs forty-eight thousand. Buy, buy that, that the safe zone. Try to avoid bandit camp and black market. At least until you get a base. Yeah, for yeah, don't buy your base materials there. There's some guy that did it this wipe, and that poor guy had, like, lost, like, three sets of, I don't know. He lost all of his building materials. And then he had it, all of his building materials on him. So, he literally lost it all. Instead of making a... Making a, uh, 
Dash. What's going on with me? Hold on. I don't know what the hell happened, but I can't. I couldn't run. Yeah, so you definitely want to put before you go into like crazy populated military or something. Oh, I didn't even put a freaking sight on this gun. You put your backpack in a tree. And you stash that shit. Same as like if you're gonna run to safe zone. Just have a backpack full of everything you need to sell. And you leave your box of nails and your hatchet and your rope and that other backpack and put it in a tree. And then try to pick a tree that's pretty close to your next base or the, to your base that you want to build. Something like a 1k away max or something. And you can buy the Q kit at the safe zone, but it's kind of a waste of money because you can just yeah, you build can buy it. it for 2k. Oh, you can buy the HQ kit. Yeah, 2k, I think. Not too much. Not too much. But a rope is literally $500 and a st sticks are free. Yeah. Just find a bush like this. Use your hands or a knife to make a long stick. Just split that stick in half to make a short stick. And then uh, you combine that and makes HQ. A lot of people like the piano building. It's been looted recently. Alright. You wanna do this one? Do you wanna do it actually? I'm just saying for base, uh, you like this building? Oh yeah. It's a cool building. First things first, put the kit in your hand. And uh... Something like that, bam. Yeah. Hatch in your hand, and you can build the gate. So do you uh, tell them? Oh wait. oh wait, can you um? You can't uh attach it or down arrow yet, huh? You just have to do the best you can. Yeah. Grab the wall kit. You block off all the doors. See, it pulls the planks right out of my backpack. Pulls the nails right out of the backpack. Or... And that's a door, right? Yeah, these are all doors. Oh, okay. I'm just putting walls over each door. I know, but how will you get out? Well, here it is. Garage door. Wall. Wall. Yeah, this is a garage door right there. Did you put the, um, code lock on it? Yep. And then, uh, you can even get a little... Yeah, I got a floor kit, right? And I need to block these windows. You press up arrow, enable snapping, or enable uh, rotation. You can switch it. Is it pitch and pitch? And you always want to have inside and everything. 
pretty much. It's the inside's the green facing you. I can use this floor kit. Right here, just like this, block off windows. Boom. And then right here, if you wanted to build a, a door right here to keep this like extra safe that room yep. all it would take is just one more kit right one more yeah. door kit all right you want to um show them how to build an airlock now want to drop the kits okay. we need a floor a wall, roof, garage door, and a wall. Do you need these uh, I need nails? a little bit of nails. Just need like need two and a half boxes for an airlock. Do you need any of these uh, woods planks? Yeah. Work it in my hand. I like to line that up to the side of the building. Blue mark. That blue is right up against the side. That should be. Down arrow and your scroll wheel to snap it. more planks. Oh yeah, there's a good lock too. Door base set up. Oh, like there's a little hole up there. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let me see your little hole you're talking about. You know, if you were, if I was a little bit more patient, I'd have lined it up, but did it first try. Oh, we can see if somebody's out there. Shoot them. But they can't raid that. We good.
Boom. Alright, so gotta make the HQ kit. Gotta get some sticks. You gather a long stick. Take everything out of your hands. Push like this. There you go. Split it into two to make a short stick. So I got three. Let's see if we can do it with three. The rope in the hand. Combine that. Flagpole kit. What we need. Oh, yeah, three. Was it three sticks and a rope? Mix the HQ. Set that in here. Authorize, put your nails on it. 13 days, 12 hours. How long you have until this base will decay. Right. Oh wow. You found more nails or are those the... Damn. Alright, so if we get more planks... Make a um, little storage box. It's kind of trees with no, no leaves on them. Like these ones are okay, but these ones will give you the most planks. Or most logs. Planks. She chopped them down. When you chop it down, it gives you a wooden log. Alright, make, make some planks. These are enough. We're just gonna make a box. on these logs. Make some planks. And you can com combine the planks. Boom. That's that should be all we need. 14. Alright, let's head back. I had 14. I got six left. It was like eight planks. I had 70 nails. Eight planks and what? 16 nails makes storage box. Use a scroll wheel. I'm holding alt right now to look around. And use the scroll wheel in the box. Damn. And now we can put we can put the hatchet and stuff in there. Put the extra nails. The normal way, green smoke is the safe zone. The normal way to go is in is the gas station, is in the convenience store, which is a little scary. Ah. 
I like to go in this way. Through the back. And right up against this wall right here. And that gets you in to the Berezino safe zone. You got a base. Supplies and storage. This is where you buy your code lock. 48k. The book costs 500. All we needed. And here is, uh, yeah, the, if you want, do you want to buy the Territory HQ, it's 3k right here. You don't need any tool bench. Nothing like that. Can't buy a sleeping bag either. And the cheapest storage is storage box kit or tent. You got any money? So what's up? Hi baby doll. Girl gamers. So in order to make the workbench, take these planks and you combine them with the book. And there you go, you're gonna have a workbench kit. You put the book away, get your workbench kit. And there you go. You put the workbench against the wall. Like that. Put that on there. All right. So, do you put the planks in your bag? Put the nails in your bag. That's it. Once you got the workbench and you got the book on the workbench, press F to read. Pops this up. There you go. Make a garage door kit. Bam. And there's the garage door kit. That's it. How you do it? Toss three planks. for somebody. Alright. The long base. We may never return. But hopefully we do with some more loot. That'd be cool. If not, hopefully it helps somebody seeing how to build it. Right. 